I'm Thomas, and these are my top five favorite pieces of gear for reef aquarium maintenance. I've used a lot of gear over my almost 20 years of reef keeping, and uh, these particular pieces of gear are the gems that just made my life a lot easier. So in an effort to also make your life easier, I'm gonna share them with you, starting with the CJ Ultra Zero Utility Pump. Using a utility pump to move water from a bucket to the aquarium during a water change or to a hard to access ATO reservoir is nothing new, but getting every last drop of water out of that bucket with a standard pump just isn't very easy. <laughs> CJ completely solved that conundrum with their Ultra Zero, which is able to drain water from a container down to a depth of just two millimeters or 0.08 inches which is phenomenal. It has a max flow rate of roughly 800 gallons per hour, which is plenty for most reefers, meaning you're not gonna get stuck standing there forever as you try to refill your tank. And it uses standard garden hose style threading so you can attach a standard garden hose. Or my personal favorite, and coincidentally the next item on my list, the Python No Spill Clean and Fill. Not only does this hook directly to the Ultra Zero for refilling your tank with freshly mixed salt water, including an inline valve so that you can stop and start the flow even while the pump is plugged in, but more importantly, it hooks up directly to a sink and the special T-valve uses a Venturi style mechanism to draw water from the tank through the tubing using nothing more than the water pressure from the faucet. And at the other end, you have a gravel vac so you can clean up your sand bed while draining the tank. No buckets because everything just goes from the tank directly down the drain of your sink. There's no mess. It's just easy water changes. Before I do big water changes though, I like to blow debris off of and from between the rocks and coral colonies and get it suspended in the water column. And to do that, I use the Marineland Maxi Jet Powerhead. These pumps are super affordable and also super flexible. Not only do they work well to blow debris out of crevices when it's set up as a standard power head, but you can also swap out the impeller and the impeller cover for a propeller and cage, which transforms it into a propeller pump with a wide cone of flow like an AC wave pump. And in this configuration, I use these power heads as a cheap solution for mixing up and circulating fresh batches of salt water. They are surprisingly robust for such cheap pumps and do a really good job of dealing with the salt grain while also doing a fantastic job of just making sure they all get fully dissolved, making them a much better option than risking using a pricier pump for mixing up salt water. But that's not all folks. They also pair up perfectly with VCA's vacuum attachments. These 3D printed attachments work incredibly well for cleaning up debris from crevices and cracks between corals and the rock work, which is way better if you're going to be cleaning your sand bed during a water change since blowing all of that stuff into the water column will get all that crud suspended, but not get it directly out of the tank. There's also a detritus vacuum attachment that is incredibly handy for cleaning out your sump. It's wide, lays flat, and does a really good job of just creating the necessary suction against that bottom panel to pull out all the mulm and sandy debris directly out of the sump and into a bucket or sink or wherever you stick the other end of the hose. Cleaning out a sump is so necessary, but we often put it off for way too long just because it is typically a big pain in the tush. But these VCA attachments do make it a lot easier, plus they're super affordable, so they're well worth grabbing a set. Last but not least, I am absolutely in love with Algae Free's long-handled scraper and the blades that they make for it. I used to go through a ton of small flat razors that you would pick up from a hardware store. I even had a little plastic handle for them to make them easier to hold, but I've switched away from them entirely ever since I picked up Algae Free Scraper. Firstly, their blades are huge by comparison, and that means a lot less effort because you can clean way more panel per swipe. Secondly, these blades don't rust when you look at them sideways near your tank. Yes, those little razor blades from the hardware store rust really quickly, even just being near the tank in their packaging. And it sucks because that means they're basically one-time use and may even start rusting before you use them, which dulls the blade, which also makes them less effective. Algae Freeze blades just last. And a quick anecdote to prove my point, I dropped this entire pack of, I don't even know how many blades are in here, like six, eight, 10, something like that. I dropped the whole pack in my tank fished it out, they're covered in salt water, dispensed them all, rinsed them off, let them dry, put them all back in. None of them has even a spot of rust. If I did that with the other razor blades, I would literally just have rust everywhere. My hands, my soul, and also the handles work really well. They're just easy to load, they're super comfortable. The blades are also double-sided, so you can just swap it around after it gets dull on the one side and keep going. They cut through coralline and other algae like butter, and they are just a pleasure to use. 
They are definitely high on my list of maintenance tools. I honestly wish I found them sooner. Would have saved myself a lot of aggravation and sore fingers. But it's not just the inside of our aquarium panels that need to be kept clean. Plus there's also ways to clean the inside from the outside and you can check out the top tools for keeping those panels spotless inside and out by watching this video right here.